Good morning, good morning, good morning. Get on up in here, friends. Get on up in here, friends. Let me tell y'all something. Think about what you want. Work hard towards it. So when you ask God for the help, you feel like you deserve it because you're asking God for it. You feel like you've done the work on yourself enough to ask God for this thing that you want. When you do not feel like you are worthy of that thing, you try to go behind God's back and get it on your own and it always fails, right? So we need some consistency. So we need to let God do it. It's hard to wait on God, you know, and to have discernment what voices you're hearing. If it always, if you're always thinking of something positive to put in the universe for yourself or people around you just to ensure you have a good day and positive things come into your mind to do, voice of God, you know, he created all of us in his image. So he, he is in, in, he is definitely inside of us, right? Y'all, I've been believing in God and praying for so many things, and I have seen them come into fruition, and it makes me smile a little bit more. It makes me a little bit more calm. It makes me a little bit more joyous. It makes me, just my light just shines a little bit better. You know what I mean? And it's like, I just, oh, man. For two months, my sweet love and I were broken up. And we decided to slow down and to do other things. We talked about that before on here, how I was saying, um, you know, nothing negative about him. We, you know, we were together for about six months and then, you know, he needed a little break to kind of figure some things out. And he didn't lie to me and manipulate me or anything like that. He told me the truth and I created a safe place for him to have that truth, right? So having said all that, we start talking you know, again in April, he reached out, um, and you know, for Easter and then I, I was surprised. And then I reached out for, you know, for the 420 events. And then after that, we just start communicating and we've been hanging out ever since. And this time around feels good because we already know what to expect from the other person. We already know what the person wants, you know, period. And like I told him before, you never had to rush into anything or start planning anything for us, which make you overwhelmed. And I'm glad that whatever is in me, when you are around me and with me, it gives you peace and it makes you want to connect us. But you didn't have to, you know, and this we could have done forever, you know. And I, while we were gone, split up, I thought about him. I just told God, you know. I feel like I'm supposed to be with him. And if I am, just let him naturally come back to me. And, you know, when I'm strong enough, I can just be, I do want him in my life. So I just want to, you know, be have a good friendship with them, hang out because I miss having fun with him, chilling and kicking it with him. And I got to a point where I feel like I could do that, you know. So we hadn't talked since February. So like I said, around April, I reached out and I was like, hey, you know, you know, happy events for 20. <laughs> and we start talking, you know, after Buds of Palooza and just all the things that I felt were happening. So here's the thing. So I don't look into, you know, I don't believe in, you know, fortune tellers to where they want to tell you the future. Cause I feel like if God wanted you to know, he'd put it in a dream or he create that idea for you that this could be something that's going on. And it's up to you to tap into it or to let it go and let it flow, right? I just I just start looking at certain titles and certain tarot stuff because I like to know what's going on around me at the time. I don't need to know the future. That's not my business, you know. I already know the past. If I don't understand the energies that I'm feeling and why I'm feeling a certain type of way, I pray about it and ask God for titles, you know. And I'll look through, you know, um, YouTube, little tarot stuff and whatever I'm thinking of that day, I'll choose a little bit of it to see if it would resonate and it, it ended up resonating. And it allowed me, you know, questions that I had about what they were doing with their time away from me 
I was able to kind of feel that and to kind of let go because I'm like, whatever they're doing when they're not with me is not my business. And they gave me the option if I wanted to deal with them or not, you know, on a different type of level, on the level that we were intending. Because, again, we were just supposed to be friends, you know, and just hanging out, having fun, but caught feelings. And then, which, again, was beautiful. But, again, for them, it was a bit too fast considering, you know, what they had going on internally. And I just thank God that I have my friend back in my life. And we're having so much fun. And it feels good to be back with him. It feels good to just kiss on him, look at him, stare at him, touch him. I don't know. I don't know. And it's like I'm not, yeah, I've gone on, you know, a couple of dates. And they were duds, you know, um, just to go out, you know, and just to do something fun, you know. But I could have actually done without that. <laughs> But it just feels so surreal to have him on the other end of my couch when we're talking and to reach out and touch him and to stare at him and to, you know, just to be back around him. It just feels amazing. And I'm grateful to God because I asked God if he's supposed to be in my life, God, let him come back easily. If he's not, let him stay away. Wherever he is, whatever he's doing, let him stay over there and do that. But since we've been back hanging out, um, he made a, a trip, a planned trip for us for the, at the end of this month because it's my birthday and his um, baby girl has a volleyball game. I was supposed to go to California. Part of me is like, please don't change your mind. <laughs> don't get overwhelmed with everything. And I told God that I'm a little afraid that a couple of things he's given me is taken back from me. So it makes me kind of apprehensive to give him my whole heart. But I'm not looking for anybody else or doing anything. So it's going to go our time frame and just whatever we're doing. If we end up, you know, splitting and seeing other people later, that's fine. If we end up hanging out and just being us, that's fine. Whatever we gravitate to is fine. But I like my space and I like my peace. And he needs his space and his peace. And when we get together, it's amazing. And now we work the same schedule. So, but he worked night shift, you know? So when I'm working on the days, he's working the nights, but we have the same schedule. And that's cool because we still get to hang out and spend time together. Like we've been golfing and he's taken me to, he's bought me things for our California beach trip, which answered my question to God. He was like, yeah, we need this. And what do you need? And I'm just like, well, I don't need this kind, this much. I just need this, you know, maybe he got me cologne. He got me a beautiful bikini. He got me just so many amazing things. And I just praise God for him. And then for Mother's Day, he even got me um, these beautiful um, Burberry glasses. They're like $300, you know, after taxes and everything. And I'm just like, I'm a 99 cent, $5 sunglass girl, but I have some actual sunnies, you know? I don't know. It's just so freaking cool. I don't expect him to do anything. I just, I just love him and I like his time. And, and because I love him, I just want to be a part of his life. And we're just having such a good time. And I just praise God for that, which is why I started the video the way I did. Y'all know how to find my words, but y'all, when you really want something bad enough, and you take the time to figure out, is this something I really want? Once you take the time and figure out what you want and you ask God for it, just wait on them. Be that a relationship, a friendship, a job, the new apartment, a new opportunity. Just wait on God if you can. It's worth it because he'll sustain it. You know, I can't believe how we ended, but I can't believe that we're back talking. And it's as if no time has gone by. But a part of me is afraid to relax with him as far as my heart. Um, I'm not going to fight anything. I'm not going to not give my all because I'm going to give my all. You know, I don't know how not to. But and it's reciprocated. I know he cares about me and I feel like he loves me. He's doing all these amazing things for me. Just his time. God, y'all, we have so much fun together. Like hanging out at the house, you know, I'm always trying to cook something and chill. He's like, we can go out sometime. I'm like, I know, but I just want you to also know that I enjoy doing things for you, like fixing your plate for you and praying over our food and covering him. I just praise God, y'all. I'm so happy. 
I had so much fun last night. We played we play putt-putt golf. I've never gone putt-putt golf. He's, had, he's given me so many of my firsts, you know. And he's so gentle and so careful of me. And he expects me to be a good, sweet girl, if that makes sense. Like, he's mentioned a couple of times to where my attitude with someone that did something outside of our car or whatever got to the best of me. And he was like, yeah, well, that one time when you, you know, I, that was kind of... Uh, and, and, and the way he put it made me want to not ever do that again. It didn't make me want to say, well, don't you tell me or, or yeah, of course I'm going to get defensive and just explain I'm way better than I used to be. Like I would have gone way left, but I didn't want to let them know that I heard you and I see you and I want to make you proud. Even when we're out, I want to be a lady. I want to be everything you see me as, you know? And like I told God, I want to be, I want to see myself the way you see me. And I am so in love with myself, the God that's in me. And I have so much peace and I'm calm and I have so much love and I have help. And when I'm needing a little extra money from a car, if I can't afford it, but I can in the next paycheck, I can reach out to my sisters or like, hopefully if they'll ever need anything, they'll reach out to me or just, I mean, just everything y'all There's so much to say, but I just want y'all to know one thing, most important thing, which is a reason for this video. Think about what you want that's going to make you happy, something that's longevity, something real long and for real. Don't be going after no married man. Don't be going after somebody who ain't yours. They will belong to somebody else. That don't work. But believe in yourself enough and have the self-discipline to love you enough to walk away when the offer you're given does not fit you. If they don't come with a counter offer, it's okay because guess what? That means God is making room for what you prayed for. I just can't believe that I can hold and kiss and love on and touch on this man that I thought felt like mine from the beginning. No matter what he feels like, I know what God makes me feel like. And it's to be with him is so easy. And he makes me feel beautiful and safe and protected. And he makes me feel amazing and like I can do anything, you know, and that I have support and I just, he's the ideal man that I've prayed for, period. So like I told God, however, he needs me to be in his life. Let me be what he needs. If he just needs me as, you know, for lovers and, you know, I just, because there's no rules for after you both got married and divorced. Where's that? So you have to make it up as you go along and just ask, ask God for these odd permissions. Hell, I even asked God to not let my period start until Tuesday of last week so I could solidify and put down what I need to put down, exchanging my energies with my man. You know, um, I believe what you put in the universe, I'm telling y'all, y'all better tap into it. God created everything, and you can't see him, but you know, he's there. He's an energy. He's an everything. He, he creates everything. My daddy, remember, he used to say, Baby, why you say you put it in the universe? I'm putting it in God's creation. So I'm telling the birds, I'm telling the trees, the songs, I'm praying out loud, I'm praying to myself, but I'm just humbling myself and believing in God, on God. I'd rather be wrong, you know, than ever have God turn his back on me when it's time to go to heaven. I want to live forever for my son so I don't date men that'll kick my ass. You know, I don't drunk drink drive, drunk drive. I don't start shit with people where they want to fight me. I don't have a reason to. I, sp I live in my truth. And I don't have to be mean about it because I have a voice. When I was a little girl doing, getting, you know, all this horrible shit my uncle used to do to my little baby body. And like I said, I chose to heal through my things, y'all. I've talked to y'all through these videos for the past 10 and a half, 11 years. And I've shared, this is my dear diary. I've shared when I needed to share. Y'all have commented and prayed for me. And I love y'all and thank y'all so much. My best thing is to tell y'all, I feel so good, y'all. In my mind, in my spirit. I love my job. The people at work, they come up to me for prayers and hugs. Last night, the bartender came from around the bar a few times to check on us and give us free game passes. The manager came to talk to us a few times. I just spirit of God and just, I want to exude positive, loving energy. I'm so grateful. And I need y'all to be grateful too and have something to feel grateful for. Be grateful for yourself and for the work you put in your self discipline. Damn it, you deserve it. Do the fucking work. I want y'all to feel like I feel. I feel good. I feel like God is a genie in a bottle. 
God, it makes me want to be a good girl because he gives me these things. Like when you see your good check at work, it makes you want to go back to work two more weeks every day and show up to get the other same check. You know, when you get get a good feeling about the Lord, get the Holy Ghost, you want to go back to church. Or, you, and you know, I, I my relationship is so amazing with him. If God leads me to go to church, I'll go. I've already been there, done that. I got ordained in 2012. Like, I want God, I want him. I want my relationship with him. I don't want to go to a church and have a minister looking in between my thighs or my boobies. I don't want to hear how pretty I am when I go, when I'm at church or, or somebody licking their lips at me. I mean, you're supposed to be a big brother in Christ for me, which is what my understanding is. If I had a church, I feel like, because I am ordained, I feel like, my church would be amazing because on the bulletin, I'd share just the bills that need to be paid. Let's just keep the church doors open and let's invoke the spirit of God inside. You have it in you already. This is my whole message. So why not tell people for free? You got your own light bill you pay. You can be eating a snack. Listen, believe in yourself that you can do it. Think about what you want to do first. Believe in yourself you can do it, right? Then ask God for it. And if God sees a path for you for that, you'll get it. If he has another path for you, you won't. And you'll understand why later. And again, my man, God allowed him to come back into my life. And I appreciate God for that. Not him, but I appreciate God for that. And however it plays out, it's going to play out. I don't see me getting married because I feel like this man would leave me at the altar. I feel like I would have this whole wedding planned and he changed his mind the morning of. And he put that thought in my head, but that's okay because God will have to work that out. But I'm not even thinking about a marriage. I mean, a wedding or, 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 or anything like that. A marriage with him would be, you promise to be with me. I promise to be with you. I promise I'm not looking for anybody else. Do you? Yeah. Okay, cool. You want to give me a little promise ring? I wear size six or six and a half ring. Other than that, I don't ask for that. I want you in your time. I want to have my place. You have your place. And we get together and we do things together. We can take family trips together. I'll drive to your house and park my car. That's okay with me. We create our own rules. The after divorce rules, fuck y'all. Just make yourselves happy. Think about what you want. Don't be complacent. Not expect you to know what you want to eat. I don't know what I want to eat. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Let's think about it. Well, I start with what you don't want. But back to this. I love y'all so much. I love you truly so much. Think about what you want. Pray on it. And wait on God. If it's an opportunity, pray to God for those people to call you or to reach out to you. Wait for a sunny day to drive far away across town so you don't have to worry about the wind blowing or the rain or, or being afraid. And fuck fear. I wish I can kick fear's ass when it comes to my driving anxiety on the highway. I would love to drive to Dallas to see mom and him. Or just drive to Vegas or be the one to drive us to Cali. My baby have to go home and take a fucking nap because I'm my anxiety having ass. But praise God for him. I said, I'll take I'll ride everywhere we got to drive everywhere in Cali. I don't know. I'm just grateful. But believe in yourself. I love y'all. You can do it. Anything you want to do, believe that you can do it. You're worthy of it. God wants you to have the riches, the peace, the power, the love, the glory. It's all inside you. Do the work in your mind. Clear out the shit. That's why the healing come into place. So clear out the shit. So you can start manifesting and believing. Talking in the spirits, talking to God. Tell them what you want and why you want it. And wait and see. I love you and I know you love me. I always take care of you, my babies. Thanks for watching another video on It's Wendy's World. And we'll talk soon.